You know, in the world of gaming, we have all these expensive next-gen consoles that not everyone can afford. So, usually, everyone would go play some other console, like Super Nintendo, PlayStation, or this bootleg console. FIFA World Cup. Now, why would I ever buy a sports game system? Well, there's a very specific reason I'll tell you later on, and also because for a laugh. So, if you can't tell, this is obviously a bootleg console from a series of bootlegs called Polystation, and I only paid 8 bucks for it, so I didn't lose much if it turns out to be crap. Let's check it out, starting with the box. FIFA World Cup. Oh great, sports game that I would rather play for real and more than likely get in better shape instead of sitting on my ass all day. 999 built-in video games. That's awesome, because they lied about that because you actually get... No, I'm not kidding. I only realized that you can just turn on the console and there would actually be built-in games in it when I was writing the script for this. Because I thought the 999 built-in games was a lie and that they were referring to the 73 games in that one cart that came with it. But back to the box. A couple of dumb kids we don't care about. Oh look, it's a PlayStation designed with a football on it. Oh, excuse me, I mean soccer ball, even though FIFA from French means International Federation of Association Football, where you kick balls with your foot. Wouldn't that end up being IFAF? You know, we should totally call it that. Hey, who wants to watch some IFAF? Not me. Well, it's a football because America can't make good sense like the rest of the world, like the metric system. Moving on, we get two controllers and hey, a gun. Are we gonna have some light gun action? At first I didn't care, but now I'm curious. Oh, but check out the descriptions. Cool graphics! Uh-huh, 8-bit games. Well, it is kind of cool. 3D arcade sound! What does that even mean? You don't even have stereo, much less 3D sounds. Realistic hero game! What the fuck does that mean? Unlimited hours of entertainment! You might have something there once we take a look at the games. One to two player action. Well, they're not lying about that. Plug and play games. Well, you certainly plug it in and play the games. Well, anyways, let's look at the console. Well, for one, it certainly wasn't colored like the way the box said it was gonna be except for the gun. You got the AV cables, which only puts out mono for your 3D arcade audio, which is attached directly into the system. A power supply, the two PlayStation bootleg controllers, the gun, the system itself, and this Famicom looking cartridge stating 73 games in one, which turns out to be 68 games in one, which you'll soon find out is that they just repeat the seven games that are actually different. On the built-in game side of things, only 14 of the games are different while the rest repeat as well. So you only really have 21 games. Oh come on! I've seen better bootleg carts that don't repeat their games that much. Well, these games sound pretty garbage if they just repeat them, right? Actually, no, they have good games on this. Yes, I'm serious. Good. Games. On the cart you have, The Legend of Kage, not Cage as one would immediately think to call it, a ninja game where you have to rescue a princess while you fight off other ninjas. It's decent and I remember liking it. Battle City, a tank game where you try not to die while protecting your base and destroying the other tanks. I also liked this game. Mario Bros, where you just kill stuff and is kind of boring. I never liked this game. Pac-Man, you're a cut pizza that eats like a fatso while being chased by ghosts. Yeah, it's fun for one round before I shut it off. Galaxian, an old arcade shoot-'em-up. Not bad, but the whole point is just high scores and no one plays for that, and neither do I. Isn't this Galaga? Or is Galaxian a bootleg version of it? Galaga is the sequel to Galaxian. Oh. Okay. Star Force, another shoot 'em up. It's okay. Exurion, and another shoot 'em up, and it's okay. Oh, yeah, and the pictures on the front? They don't mean Jack. The picture says the cart supposedly has Bomberman, Tetris, Mappy, Macross. Star Soldier, but aside from Galaxion, none of these exist on the cart, and to be honest, if it did exist on the list, I didn't bother looking through the several copies of the games. In the built-in games, you have... Super Mario Bros. 
That's a good classic game, do I need to talk about it in detail? It's THE classic platformer game and it's good. Only difference is the title with the drunk Mario picture on it. What's wrong with your face? Then you have a bunch of sports games like running, archery, football and such, and they're all split up into their own games and they're okay, but I just don't care for that. And lastly, I was not entirely expecting, is duck hunt and clay shooting. Oh, so you do get to use the gun. Well, how well does it work? It's amazing! Like, I think it's even better than the original NES Zapper. And that shouldn't be possible on a bootleg. But it is. And that's saying a lot. The trigger is light and the light gun is very accurate from what I've played, and I'm really sold on that. The only issue I have is that duck hunt and clay shooting are the only shooting games, which are fun, but you don't have the two duck shooting mode. So I spent five bucks to get Mario and Duck Hunt on NES, which is still a good buy, but apparently I already have it on this? Holy shit! So this all sounds amazing, right? Yes it does, content-wise. But controller-wise, the controller is fudging terrible. Look at this PlayStation knockoff, it doesn't even have the shoulder button that is the sole reason the PlayStation controller is what it is. The button layout looks pretty dumb, but since most of the games are NES games, it's not that far of a stretch. But oh, get this, the A and B buttons are switched around and this took a little to get used to, but pretty quickly. So what are these buttons on top? Well, if you guess turbo buttons, then you are right, which I used during the race because trying to button mash with the inconsistent response really sucks. That's pretty much the problem. The buttons just don't always respond correctly to your inputs. Only the gun works consistently because honestly, you'd have to fail pretty hard to not have this working. You might have noticed that these controllers can be plugged in and out, and this seems an awful lot like an Atari or Genesis controller port. So maybe we can use a Genesis controller and have that controller issue solved, right? It was a good idea in theory, but sadly it didn't work because if it did, you would have had a much more responsive controller to use, and this bootleg would actually be worth the 8 bucks I paid for. But here's the other reason I got this bootleg. It's a Famicom in disguise! Famicom, Famicom in disguise! Oh, I'm serious! If you were watching my National Ninja Day stream with D. Tyson, we were playing a bunch of Famicom games on my Poly Station, and it fudging works! Not to mention, previously, Zero Master bought this when he came over and we played it at my place to discover that fact. And then we confirmed it at ANC Games. Like, wow, that's amazing! So let's wrap this up. So, is it worth it? Well, you had me a duck hunt with a gun that works even better than the original Zapper, which is shockingly impressive. So to me, yeah. But combined with a few other good games, the fact that this is a Famicom system in disguise to let you play import games and that it's super cheap, makes this a very, very tempting recommendation. The only and really big downside to this console is the controller sucks fuck from a duck. But if you can find someone who can work some magic to make a better controller work on this, then hey, I'd say pick it up. You can usually find it in your Chinatown area in some of the stores if you look around. I got mine from a store across ANC Games at Lucky Lucky's for those of you who live in Toronto that might be interested in a Famiclone. Just be warned about the controllers. So that pretty much ends this video on this bootleg. It's a pretty good bootleg, minus the controller, and if it wasn't for that, I would definitely recommend you check it out. But if you can find it for the dirt cheap price that it's usually priced at, then you know what, check it out anyway. This is Wizward 100, you're the viewers and I'm the reviewer, so stay tuned for more. See ya! Hey everyone, thanks for watching and hope you all enjoyed the video. Tell me what you thought of the review, it'd be great for feedback. Be sure to stay up to date on my Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube for my next game review. In the meantime, you can check out my previous videos like the ones I'm showing right now. Links to all that goodness is right in the description, or click the annotations if you're watching on YouTube.
Then you have a bunch of sports games, like running, archery, football, and such, and they're all split up into their own games, and they're okay, but I just don't care for that. What? But I just don't care for that. I think that's what I was trying to say.